This video is going to look at handheld weapons in Barrow Trauma. This will be a two-part video and in this portion we're going to be covering everything related to melee weapons and tools. As Barrow Trauma is still in early access, some of what I'm going to talk about may be out of date depending on when you view it. The Among the Ancients update has brought in new weapons, item qualities and character skills that have changed the damage and variety of all the weapons in the game. Starting off, let's talk about tools. Whilst tools won't be your go-to weapons, there are some new mechanics that make a difference to the weapons depending on which job role you play and what talent skills you have. Let's take a look at the new mechanical engineer's talents. Under the technician's tree, there is a new skill called aggressive engineering. This provides you with a 30% chance to inflict up to 200% damage when attacking with a wrench. But more on the breakdown of damages and potentials in a minute. There is another skill called Elbow Grease that will give you a bonus to melee power equal to 40% of your current mechanical engineering skill. Moving on to the electrical engineer under the weapons engineering tree, you have a skill called Castle Doctrine. This sees your attacks against monsters inside the submarine becoming 35% more powerful. Under the electrician's tree, we have Melodic Respite. This will add 15% attack power to you and your crewmates who are in close proximity. Proximity. This applies when you play a guitar and lasts for 480 seconds. Under the physicist section, you have the skill PhD in nuclear physics. This will see your crowbar attacks doing 100% more damage. The final mention for the new job skill is the security officer. Under the specialist tree, the buccaneer skill adds 100% to any melee attack when charged up through aiming first. There is also the warlord skill that has a 20% chance of doubling your damage. So with the talent specific buffs out the way, let's look at actually what the tools and their respective damages do. You will notice that in addition to the new quality ratings of tools, there are now hardened and dementonite versions of the screwdriver, wrench and crowbar. Although this is a weapons guide, I feel it's important to also mention that these other variations do have a speed modifier to the repair and opening characteristics of these tools. You get an additional 25% repair speed increase for the hardened variations and 40% for the Dementonite variations. So the Masterwork Dementonite wrench has a 70% increase to the repair speed over a regular wrench. Taking a look at the damage differences, let's examine the screwdriver first. It attacks one hit point per second. It does lacerations of strength 5, bleeding of strength 2 and stuns the target for 0.2 seconds. The hardened variation attacks at the slower speed of 1.3 seconds. It does lacerations of strength 10, radiation sickness of strength 1, stun of strength 0.3, and adds a penetration of strength 0.25, making it more valuable against armored targets. Finally, the Dementonite version has a faster attack time of 0.7 seconds. It does lacerations of 7.5, adds psychosis to a target for strength 5, and stuns them for 0.2 seconds. Here is the breakdown table of damages and the variants for the other tools. As a quick notable mention, screwdrivers and wrenches can be dual wielded, whereas crowbars cannot. If you want to know more about damage types and different afflictions in the game, you can check out the medical guide linked in the top right of the screen. So whilst these initial numbers may seem small compared to other weapons in the game, here's where things get interesting. If you are a mechanical engineer and have the talent aggressive engineering, you can potentially add 200% damage to dual wielding wrenches. Couple this with 40% power increase of your current mechanical engineering skill, which with all the potential buffs and clothings goes up to 170, meaning a staggering 68% extra melee power and health. Combine that with melodic respite, which has a 15% increase to attack power. And finally, add a melee attack speed buff from the captain for 30%. We are talking a dual wielding masterwork hardened wrench mechanic doing a damage potential of 76.6 damage per 0.91 seconds. 
That's one dangerous crewmate even the engineer from Team Fortress would be jealous of. That engineer's a spy! However, the mechanical engineers are not alone in the new overpowered club. If you combine the electrical engineer's skill of PhD in nuclear physics, which gives you 100% more damage to attacks with crowbars, Combine that with 35% more damage to monsters in the submarine, along with the 15% attack power from Melodic Respite, and the 30% melee attack speed buff from the captain, we are talking an electrical engineer with a masterwork hardened crowbar, which also has its own 30% attack power increase, doing a damage potential of 88 damage per 0.91 seconds. Electrical engineers have now become a real force to be reckoned with, that even Gordon Freeman would be proud. Are you 100% sure that theory of yours is correct? Absolutely. Just like I'm sure about my new merchandise that's now available at ironicandead.com. Links in the video description below. Next, we're going to talk about flamers, which I'm going to include in the tools section as they require welding fuel to use. They do a base burn damage of 1.25 per second, which is very low, however this damage begins to amplify the more you use it. There is a chance to spawn more fire that also does 1.25 burn damage per second. In addition to the fire, an area of effect damage hits all targets within the range. Fires will keep burning unless there is water or a fire extinguisher to put it out. This weapon also burns all of the available oxygen anywhere there is a dry space. So you can actually damage characters even further with the low oxygen affliction if you burn enough oxygen away. But this is a double-edged sword as you yourself also need oxygen. So make sure you're wearing protective clothing and have enough oxygen to survive. Next, for the flamers section, we have the prototype stream cannon, which looks like a welder, but has a far more insidious use. Essentially, it's the same as the regular flamer and does the same 1.25 burn damage, but does not consume oxygen in the available space. You will be able to also use it underwater, although it won't spawn any extra fires. These are especially good on Thalamus Rex against leukocytes and other small monsters, as well as in caves with exploding flames flora and ice spikes. If we take a look at the mechanical engineer tree, you also have the pyromaniac skill. This will inflict 25% more burning damage, meaning that damage goes up to 1.56 per second. <laughs> Next, we're going to talk about melee weapons. This covers knives, axes, and a few special use cases. Starting off, we have knives. The regular knife, Dementonite variation, and the European handshake all do 10 laceration, 10 bleeding, and have a stun of 0.2 seconds, with the Dementonite diving knife also applying Psychosis for Strength 5. And the European handshake applies Morbusine poisoning of Strength 1. This will grow in time and eventually kill the target if the affliction is not treated. The knives also have a quality rating that adds 30 percent to their base damage, so the masterwork versions sit at 13 laceration, 13 bleeding, and add stun of 0.26 with the Dementonite now applying Psychosis for Strength 6.5 and the European Handshake for Morbusine Poisoning of 1.3. Finally, for the knives, there is also the Hardened Knife, which sits in its own damage category. This is crafted by an electrical engineer with the skill Strengthened Alloys under the Engineering Tree. This does a base damage for the Masterwork Edition of 20.8 Laceration, 6.5 Bleeding, adds Radiation sickness of strength 1.3 and stuns the target for 0.325 seconds. So if we take these damages and combine them with some of the soldier skills, we get the following. Starting off with the buccaneer talent that adds 100% damage to when you aim a weapon. Combine this with physical conditioning, which increases melee attack speed by 25%. Add beat cop that adds 30% more stun. Combine that with warlord that has 20% chance of doubling damage. Combine that with an electrical engineer to increase your attack power by 15%. 
And finally, add in the captain's speed buff for melee attack 30% increased speed, we get a damage potential for a dual wielding, masterwork, hardened diving knife security officer for 173 lacerations, 41 bleeding, radiation sickness 8.2, stun of 0.84, and an attack speed of 0.6 seconds. Crocodile Dundee approves of this knife-wielding hunter. Now this is a knife. Moving on, we have the boarding axe, which is a new addition to the game, unlocked by the security officer under the specialist tree with the skill point buccaneer. They are by far the strongest melee weapons in the game, with the masterwork quality doing a whopping base damage of 46.8 laceration, 13 bleeding, and have a stun of 0.65 seconds. Using the skills from before, the security officer has the potential to do 154 laceration, 41 bleeding, stun for 0.84 seconds, all with an impressive attack time of 0.63 seconds. As Gimli would say, and my axe. Finally, a special mention, the clown hammer. If you are an assistant with the skill true potential under the clown tree, there is a 0.75% chance to one shot the character you're attacking. Attacking. This will implode them and the target becomes immediately deceased. Absolutely hilarious in multiplayer, but serves no real purpose as a melee weapon in a fight. That's it for now. Check out when part two drops. Until next time. Peace. Na, na, na. Malay, 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 Malay,